this movie exists. 32 seconds of opening logo. Yes, it was all the one Disney logo admiring itself. Hey, look! Over there! How are these two gender gardeners just now aware of this boat that has obviously been passing them for a while? The sound alone would have given it away. I'd be so happy if ours was that fancy. Ben? Why is that? Because it looks better. This boat has seen us through many a storm. So what you're saying is there's no need to do something just because it's bigger, newer, and looks better? Especially when what you've got already does the job perfectly well? Seems like a solid philosophy. Maybe if you sing. It's better when you sing. I bet it's not, though. No singing. It's, it's been a long day. Oh, imagine a land. Faking you aren't going to do something only to do it seconds later cliche. I hate you. You were caught in a dance. You were lost in the trance. I am neither of those things, but this song feels pretty inevitable, so let's get on with it. See, in a cartoon, a pet tiger works. In a live action version, this is a horror movie and he eats Jasmine's face right here and now. I've been doing, boo. Stealing from an asshole is still stealing, though, right? Take the bag of dates and get out. Dates aren't money. They're dates. And dates are terrible. You'd have to give me a gold necklace along with the dates to get me to even accept a bag of dates. And now you've made this kid an accessory. This is the least practical and possibly slowest way to get down from here. Just jump down, you narcissistic show-off. Until YouTube stops letting music publishing companies run wild with bogus claims, I'm not going to play much music for you. But just know that this asshole is running in slow motion while singing in real time. And that's just unacceptable. Machete within reach, human sized balancing scale in perfect position, precise weighted bag of something or other miraculously situated not only above the other side of the scale, but reachable while standing on the launch point? It's like a mecca for convenience up in here. Now they're moving at two times speed, but he's still singing in real time. Look, I like the guy that directed this as much as the next um, guy, but the way he uses his signature timing and motion effects in these songs is more distracting than cool. Plus it makes the song feel even more like it isn't really being sung in the moment. Look at me. You can do this. Sure, okay, whatever you say. Guy I literally just met that everyone either wants to f or arrest. I'm sure you know me best. You bring me the rough, but never a diamond. And you can tell that by smelling? Isn't the diamond a metaphor for being pure of heart? Can you smell his heart purity? And do you think Aladdin smells any better? Dude probably gets sh on by a monkey like five times a day. You are already second only to the Sultan. Second? Uh-oh. Who's in trouble now? So they're sticking with the comic relief talking parrot thing? You made it a cartoon again. You just cast some human actors in it this time. Why did you do that? Is the movie saying Aladdin took the time to make these retracting stairs? Even if he could do it, is the level of intense work in designing the mechanism, hollowing out the stone wall, lugging these massive wood posts actually worth it when a simple hidden ladder would do the trick? Not like it offers any security either. Just saying that roof looks easy enough to access without spending half your life putting this thing together when you could be out doing more thieving. Which means you are a handmaid to the princess. I haven't done the math, but I'm pretty sure mistaken identity is a plot point in 78% of animated Disney movies. Is this yours? It's kind of borrowed. There really is no getting around the fact that Aladdin is a thief. Like you can't escape what you were born into. It's incredible how much these two on opposite ends of the socioeconomic spectrum have in common, which is to say they both dislike their lot in life, which isn't a lot in common at all, come to think of it. Everyone hates their lot in life, except maybe Kanye. There's a time that we do steal and a time we don't. Give a monkey a bracelet and he can go get a bag of dates. Teach a monkey to steal and something, something. My point is you can't teach situational ethics to a monkey. Why did no one tell me of your beauty? I like Billy Magnuson, but his part feels more out of place in this movie than Scorsese would at Comic-Con. Hey, puss, 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 puss. <laughs> what just happened? Did the tiger eat Prince Anders? I admit that's probably what should have happened, but it's probably not. What a weird cut. Why cut there and then? That invading shit about is the right thing to do. Why does he need more power? He can literally hypnotize and control the Sultan. Why not hypnotize the Sultan into stepping down and naming Jafar his successor? Yet he's obsessed with a cave that has a lamp that has a genie that will give him three wishes. He's gonna use one wish to ask to be Sultan, so Jafar is an idiot. Invade Shiraba? <laughs> you made the classic mistake of trying to hypnotize a world leader with the door wide open. Walls and borders unguarded will be attacked. I gotta say, making Jafar into a pissy teenager was a bold choice. Here's a new song. It's so bland, it's painful. It's also basically every Disney princess empowerment song rolled into one song. It could easily be titled, Can Bell Paint with Part of Your World While Letting It Go? Dirty monkey. Two things here. Does Diago just hang out by the palace gate now, hoping to see something interesting? And second, why does he even give a literal flying f about Aladdin? As far as the movie has shown, neither he nor Jafar have had any interaction or awareness of him before now. Diamond in the rough. Why? Because his obvious digital double can leap from rooftop to rooftop with uncanny valley ease? How do they know this is the person the cave was talking about? Oh, I'm the princess. Next, I guess she's going to break into song about having always wanted to be a princess. All my life, I've only wanted one thing only to be princess. Princess and not just be some low homely maid. What do they call you? Aladdin. Roll carpets. Steal an apple and you're a thief. Steal a kingdom and you're a statesman. 
teach an apple to steal a statesman and the kingdom will never have to fish a day in its life. You're nothing to her, but you could be. Something could be something. You're nothing to her, but you could be something to her. Grammar more good, movie. The rock cat face clearly said only one may enter, but then he lets in one plus monkey. It's interesting that the cave doesn't think Abu is a person upon entry, but later does think Abu is a person when he touches the treasure. This is a magic carpet. These really do exist. I was just about to mention something about how the movie never really lets us know how this carpet got here, but then I realized they would probably hit on a lot of that in Aladdin's 4 through 7, so carry on. No one will be seated during the free solo portion of the movie. I mean, yeah, but it's not the first time. They've been tripping over that stuff since they came in. Plus, it's a monkey, dude. Overreact much? Aladdin, no! You were supposed to be the chosen one! Man, good thing he was already good at parkour before this. Aladdin survives this. Could you give me a hand? First, the lab. <laughs> Throw me the whip. Ah! ah! Genie wishes lamp. None of that ringing a bell. No, it's all very, very familiar. In fact, it rings all the same bells. All I'm hearing are bells. Can someone tell Disney to stop ringing so many bells? You ain't never had a friend like me. And there ain't never been a force on nature like Robin Williams. I like Will Smith, but it doesn't matter who you put in this role, it would pale to what Robin did, and I miss him like crazy. You ain't never had a friend like me. Thanks, I hate it. The whole song was the, the instructions. Was it though? Because honestly, it sounded like a long list of how amazing you are, with zero instructional information on how the whole thing works. It would be like if someone asked the president how the government works, and he just responded by bragging about how great he was and all the stuff he owns. Ridiculous, right? Oh look, hand-drawn characters from this story. I don't know about you, but I wonder if you had done this movie with classic animation, if the fantastical elements of the story might have been better captured. Ah well, there's always next time. Do we need the top knot? That's my little cherry on top. This movie and I have dramatically different ideas of what funny means. And the director said, let's have Will Smith take a bite of an apple and then throw it away, so that the audience will know we are all assholes for putting up with this shit. The magic flying carpet is amusing itself by building a sand castle, and I have questions. Like, this sand is dry as hell. Can't shape that shit without adding some fing water. I'm about to fabulize you. That's a felony in six states. Not sure about Agrabah, though. But won't people recognize me? Nobody will recognize you. That's how genie magic works. Oh. He already made him a prince, so adding the entourage seems like a kindness outside the scope of the wish. I mean, Genie was the one that said to be careful with the wording. Dude didn't ask to be a prince with an entourage, now did he, huh? Oh no, a T-Rex is coming! What? It's only an elephant? This is Jafar and the Sultan having tea, and that elephant still has to walk through the city to get to the palace, so their would not be vibrating right now. For reasons unknown, they slowed the Prince Ali song down dramatically from the original, and it basically kills the song's energy. No matter how many costumes and colors and zingy lines the song comes with, it's still completely void of energy. The genie sings about exotic-type mammals while riding a bird. It's just as much a pleasure for me, your highness, sir. The Aladdin we've known for the rest of this movie is slick, suave, and always in control, even when he was trying to impress Jasmine earlier. What's up with the sudden comedy of errors act? Tell him that we have gifts, please. None of this awkwardness would be happening if Genie had spent five minutes planning this, instead of just whipping up an entourage out of the sand and immediately marching them all into the palace. In 10,000 years, I've never been that embarrassed. Okay, but you said you'd been in the lamp for a thousand years before Aladdin came along. So in the last 10,000 years, my guess is 99% of your time has been spent in the tiny lamp not being embarrassed, no? Look at her hand, man. Does adding a love interest really do anything for the genie story? Narratively? Thematically? Or is it just fun to watch Will Smith try and score some Handmaid's Tale? Princess Jasmine! You! Yeah. You're still here. Jasmine would be excellent at cinema sins. Look, genie, when I said blow me, this is not what I meant. Seriously, though, I'm glad we've reached the portion of the film where the magical being does obviously magical things inside of a crowded room that doesn't even react. It's my favorite. Oh, so it's like Upgrade, but the Stabby Stabby is replaced by Dancy Dancy? To be honest, that seems more of a downgrade. Also, Genie is controlling him, making him dance, because Aladdin doesn't know the dance everyone is doing. But a genie that lived in a lamp for the last thousand years does know this dance? This is an offensive misunderstanding of human relationships. Genie is treating Aladdin and Jasmine like a pair of blue-footed boobies, forcing this awkward-ass mating dance that will probably still f***ing work because this movie hates my soul. Maybe I went a tad far with the backflip, but that dance... May be the best thing you ever do in your life. This genie is all about, don't ruin this party for me, I like to party, and that girl is cute, and you're lame, that dance was awesome. Whereas the original genie showed genuine affection for Aladdin right from the beginning, so that later when genie saves Aladdin's life, it meant something. Whereas in this movie, it'll come out of nowhere. How did you get past the guards? I snuck past. All 48 of them. Even the ones that eat fire? Impressive. In what way does eating fire make you better at being a palace guard? Why does that make it more impressive? 
Would you like to take an evening stroll? Just the two of us? Yep, just the two of you. Building castles in the sand, getting jiggy with it, and wondering why parents just don't understand. Genie, I need to find a bottle. My other brother. Since when do genies come with built-in walkie-talkies? This power is arbitrary and convenient, and will be ignored later when it would be useful. Sin! Why would a princess need this many apples in her bedroom? Unless she's a horse, she's maybe eating one a day. And 70% of these will go bad before she gets to them. No standing on the magic carpet, Aladdin. Anachronistic flight attendant Genie made that very clear in his pre-flight checklist. Here's the updated A Whole New World sequence. And while I am getting goosebumps remembering how amazing the original scene is, this cheap knockoff isn't getting any sins off from me. So I'm going to sin it for not being the original. You saw us arrive with dancers, an elephant, and a magic carpet. But she was just shocked a few minutes ago when she first saw it. So I'm pretty sure she didn't see you arrive with that carpet. Sorry, Denny boy, the carpet don't match the truth. Fascinating. I hate this specific live action movie's version of this parrot so much. I want it to die in a garbage disposal. I want red feathers flying in the air tinged with the spattered blood of this f***ing bird. Gentlemen, I... I think there's been some sort of confusion. My only confusion is why you aren't making one of those long-distance genie calls to Big Blue right now. If I throw you off of that balcony, and you are who you say you are, you will die a watery death. If you survive, it can only be because of the lamp. Really? What if he's as good at breaking rope ties as he is at stealing? What if the genie decides not to help him? Jafar really thinks he has a whammy of a situation here, but there are all kinds of variables the movie would like you to overlook. Goodbye, Aladdin. No! Also, according to Jafar's theory, Aladdin is the only person alive that knows where the lamp is. So killing him is hella stupid if Jafar really wants the lamp. I can't get you out of this unless you make a wish. I said it when we send the original and I'll say it again here. Yes, you can. You got him out of the cave without a wish. You used magic for him as a favor several times already. You absolutely could just save his life right now. And this handcuffed genie routine only exists to put Aladdin down one wish, as well as being one of the lamest excuses for tension in movie history. Also, since I brought it up, this movie for making me sin the exact same things over again. I swear one of these days I'm just gonna do the exact same sins for the new version as the old. If Disney can just regurgitate the same exact stuff, then I should be able to play that game too. Both Jasmine and Genie have spotted Jafar's mind-controlling power and stopped it earlier in this film. But for the sake of a finale being set up, both will say nothing right now while it's happening right in front of them! Rosalie, I must apologize. <laughs> I've watched him say this line five times, and I swear it looks more like Raja is saying that line than the Sultan. Watch it again. I must apologize. It's so convincing that now I'm just mad that Raja doesn't pull a full Aslan and become the central character of the story. Or it's possible this movie is just so boring and bland that at this point I'm amusing myself with whatever the hell pops into my mind and calling it a sin. <laughs> This is at least the fourth time Iago has just happened to be in the right place at the right time to hear exactly what the plot advancement needed him to. If this movie keeps giving the bird to its plot, I'm gonna keep sinning it. This entire movie makes pickpocketing out to be so stealthy no one ever detects it. And that is a huge f***ing lamp, and anyone carrying it would feel it being taken out of their pocket. This sh needs to die in a chemical fire. I wish to be Sultan of Agrabah! At the risk of being a broken record, why didn't he just mind control the Sultan to change the rules and get himself named Sultan that way? He doesn't have to use a wish on this. You know the law, Hakeem. But what does the law say about advisors using genie wishes to make themselves sultan regardless of bloodline? Pretty sure the law frowns on that. So you appealing to the law here makes you look weak and stupid. It's time you start doing what you should have done all along. Stay silent. If only I had a power ballad at the ready that I could sing and address that exact backwards thinking attitude. She seems really passionate about this song, but I can't hear it because of how bad the song sucks. Or will you do what is right and stand with the people of Agrabah? Man, Hakeem is super important in this remake, even though I'm not even sure he existed in the original. Genie motions for Aladdin to stay back for now, revealing that he has two masters and favors the previous one, which is against the genie code. Once I ensure your agonizing death by banishing you to the ends of the earth. Or you could just agonize death him right here and now, you know? You are the greatest sorcerer of all time, and to accomplish your goal of recapturing the lamp and destroying your enemies, you turn your parrot into a bigger parrot. Also, why didn't Jasmine immediately rub the lamp when she stole it? Just blurt out, I wish for far to stop and everything's all good. Were they just planning to transport it somewhere for safekeeping? Use the damn thing. Hey, all the slow-mo in the world isn't gonna save this mess. I can destroy cities. Well, for a guy trying to take over the Sultan Sea, that is a lame-ass brag. Entire cities? Talk to me when you can destroy countries or continents or even entire films. Then you'll be in my league, son. You can just make the law disappear? <laughs> Please. Like it never existed. Then what the f*** was with the whole I'll make you a print that took up 30 minutes of the movie. Get your own jams! Something Marvin Gaye's ghost might say to Pharrell and Robin Thicke somehow makes it into the movie. No, thank you, Genie. I owe you everything. You really don't? You owe that Genie a lot, sure, but everything? 
fuck no, dude. You made Jasmine fall for you way back just by being a street rat with charm. You shall be the next sultan. A ring? Didn't you say a thousand years of history said no woman could be sultan? But you're giving her a ring now. You're gonna die, and she's gonna have to defend her female sultaness to the masses with a f***ing ring? Write a decree or a new law, dickhead. A ring? A f***ing ring? Any decent trial lawyer will get that ring thrown out of court instantly. Gah! Wanna hear the most annoying sound in the world? Are you a person who loves this show but doesn't own any clothes? Are you sitting there completely nude wondering if there's any way you can display your love for CinemaSins properties while also presenting yourself in an acceptable way in a public place? Good news, everyone! We here at the Sins team have launched a new merch store with the help of Teespring. With these products, you can cover your body in a multitude of ways. Want something a little breezy? Try this. This is a CinemaSins shirt shirt. Want something a bit more modest? This pullover hoodie has got you covered. We've even got a few badass posters and one killer mug that will distract everyone from the fact that you're not wearing pants. So, check out the links below and buy yourself a damn shirt for once. Will you, for the love of God, put on a f***ing shirt? Mug does not actually commit murder. Ooh, that's a bit of a mess there, Abu. Yeah, man, it really tied the room together. Kapaya! Do we need the top knot? That's my little cherry on top. Okay, okay. I put a cherry on top. Booyah! Look at me. Look at me. I'm the captain now. This is Sparta! From way up here, you all look like little ants! Oh, oh. Rich people are f***ed up. Uh.